everybody, this is Angelo with Angelo's Workbench. Welcome back to the channel. Here today with video number one of a brand new project. This is the Foos Ford FD100. This is Chip Foos's pickup truck. This is similar to the Eldo rod in that Ravel actually got a hold of the truck and took highly accurate digital photography of the truck and basically scanned it in from what I understand. I saw some pretty cool internet videos on how they did it. And then they were able to duplicate it and create the body as you see here. So right off the bat, taking a look at the body, it looks very nice. It looks very, very nice. And there appears to be, the roof appears to be molded separately because I've got these these four little holes here and there must be a separate piece that goes on top of that which is really sweet if you wanted to rock like a two-tone could do this like a, a metal flake a candy apple red and then could do the roof like a white cream and I'm still not sure what I'm going to do I know I'm not going to do it black um, I would have to I just I think that looking at it I think it needs to be a bright color it's just my own personal my own personal choice, but look look at how nice, look how nice that looks. And everybody's going gaga for this kit, so I, I just I just had to do one. Uh, the chassis and the engine uh, look absolutely fantastic. So, so there's the body. You know what, I'll leave that right there. There's the body, the body looks really sharp. So, let's talk about the chrome parts. Here's the chrome sprue. Um, the wheels are beautiful works of art, and I see that on the on the real one, the centers are a graphite gray. I may do the very same thing with the polished lip. I think that looks real snazzy, and um, and the grill, the front grill, the bumpers look great. I see it's got Foost engraved right in on there. We got some door handles, a gas cap, a rear view mirror. Pretty minimal. Not not a not an overly shiny truck as far as chrome goes. Just the right amount, I think. Looks good. And uh, here's the tires. The tires look nice. I think we might have two different sizes here because these look a little bigger than these. Oh yeah, definitely. So we got big and littles here going on. And um, beautiful tread. Look at the tread. The tread's nice. Nothing on the sidewalls though. Just blank sidewalls, but that's okay. Nobody's going to come and look at your shelf model and go, Hey, are those Dunlops or Goodyear's? Ah, who knows? They look good, though. Not bad. And I've pre-cut these bags so that you didn't have to watch me open bags. Um, and I've been looking forward to uh, opening these bags and getting to these parts. Uh, because the builds that I've seen online of this kit, the chassis and the engine just look fantastic and Ravel included some really nice decals for the motor I've seen online um, so I'm, lo I'm really looking forward to seeing these parts let's see here ah we've got interior door panels prime for a two-tone we've got some nice look at the speaker grill molding this is very nicely done this is a great kit look at that dash I know they include some decals. I think I saw it on the decal sheet. They include some decals for the interior. I'm not sure that I'm going to use those. I may I may just paint this up in a two-tone myself with some striping maybe. I'll have to see. This is one of those kind of kits where the sky's the limit for customization. I mean, you can go crazy or you can stay mild. Uh, that looks like taillights. Little teeny tiny taillights. Let's see what else we have here. We have the bed which I know they included decals for that, to do that in wood. But look at how crisp the lines are here. This would be very easy to mask and paint. Or even if you wanted to uh, get some balsa wood and do some do your own wood planks, you know, and, and some metal in the middle. I mean, it would be very easy to make the real deal there. Uh, the molding is very nice and crisp. Even the underside, look, the support beams are across, the wood. That's, um, that's really nice. The hood, there's the hood. The hood looks good. And what else do we have? Oh, look at the frame. Look at all the detail on the frame. Very nice. Let's 
see what else we have here. Well, appears I have a broken steering rack here. Oh, look at that. Broken in transit. Now oh, these things happen. Hey, you know what? It's plastic, and I happen to know where there's some model glue. <laughs> Be able to fix that no problem. Seat looks good. Interior looks nice. There's actually a, a pretty good texture to this. But I might do some flocking on that anyway. Oh, here it is. Look at the motor. Beautiful. Look at that billet oil pan. Look at the valve covers. A lot of good stuff here. A lot of good parts. And the last sprue. What do we have here? There's that roof. The truck roof. And we've got some suspension components. A rear end. A firewall. A front end. That all looks good. And we have the clear parts that are mounted on a sprue. Not much in the way of clear parts. We got a front window, a back window, and headlights. Look at how crisp the headlights are. Look at those. I hope the camera is picking them up. They look out of this world in clarity. Um, with a little bit of a silver background. Well, the grill is chrome. That'll be nice. We do have some axles here. Um... These are always a little bit of a challenge for me uh, in that I always want to try and get them in without uh, damaging the suspension that I've built up. So I'll be very careful with those. Let's take a look at the decals next. And here we go. Oh yeah, look at all these decals. So we've got the decals for the door panels, the interior, the bed. Of course, the famous Chip Foose drawing. Man, that guy can draw. Um, and then we have, oh, we have the engine decals. We have enough fooses to go around. Looks like wheel centers. Who knows where all the rest of those go? I'm sure the instructions will tell me. We have some Roush decals. We, of course, have the Foost California license plate, which looks awesome. This looks like some kind of a dashboard decal, pinstriping, which is kind of cool. Uh, some underhood decals, the instrument cluster. Nice bunch of decals. That adds a lot of realism to it. So that's going to be great. And then just to take a quick spin through the instructions, I see the parts. The parts count. Um, oh yeah, look at all the decals that go on the engine parts. There's even a decal for the transmission. Bowler. Adds a lot of realism to it. That's great. Oh, I can't wait to build this. This is going to be so much fun. So uh, so that's the Foos Ford FD100. We're going to move straight away on this, get cracking. Um, Got to pick a color. I haven't picked a color yet. I think I'm going to do a nail polish paint job. I think it's going to be bright. And I think I'm going to work in some kind of a two-tone. I think that would be cool. So come on back and join me in future videos, and we'll get this thing built. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you'll come on back for video number two where we'll start this project off. In the upper left-hand corner, we've got a subscribe button. Make sure you don't miss a single video. And I've got some playlists and links to some other videos on the screen here for you to enjoy. And thank you for tuning in to Angelo's Workbench.